I went through one of my best time in life in this net, and also went through one of my difficult period. Also, in this Senate, before I came to the Senate, before I came into politics, I can buy anything body can buy. I'm not a thief. Those that put me in prison, no reason they put me in prison. They took over all my businesses and want to kill me. But I survived it. I'm in the Senate with you people. It's not the end to what we have done. It's not the end to United Nigeria. It's not the end to Brother Skipper. But this thing that was I called, we are with me. I never laughed. When the PDP that I was governor for two times was being formed, I brought every money they used in forming that party, every penny in 1997 and 98 and I later became a thief and people I like, gave transport money from my house in VI, VI became angels this is what Nigeria represents I want to thank my colleagues for giving me these four years of all the tarotive support because this country is not fair the sovereignty of us. I built this country, I employed 13,800 workers. People employ not nobody. And nobody asks them their source of wealth. I have three factories in Lagos, Nigeria. I have two factories in Ota. Build manufacturing. I have three factories in Aba, manufacturing. And I'm a thief. And people that cannot explain where their source of wealth come from. They are not thieves. I leave everything in the house of God. May God be the judge. Thank you very much, uh, Chief Whip. We bid farewell to this chapter. Let us remember that our journey has just begun. For some of us, new paths beckon, and the mantle of leadership passes into fresh hands. To those who will continue this noble calling, I extend my sincerest congratulations and heartfelt, heartfelt wishes. Cherish this honor bestowed upon you, for it is a sacred trust, and let the spirit of collaboration guide your every step. To my colleagues, to my fellow colleagues who will depart this chamber, I address you not as colleagues left behind, but as friends who have become an integral part of my history. We have shared countless moments of triumph and defeat, standing shoulder to shoulder in the face of adversity and striving relentlessly for the betterment of our nation. Our bonds are forged not merely through the titles we hold, but through the fraternity and respect that transcends the boundaries of politics. And we need to give so much to this nation. This new administration beckons hope for this nation. And anyone who doesn't have hope, you can't really move ahead. This new administration beckons that. And we have to make the necessary sacrifice, which starts with the new 10th Assembly. For me, as a woman of faith, I believe is double grace. Number 10 will give us double grace. And God will sustain us. And I can only wish my colleagues that are here that I can only tell you, see you around. And when we leave this place, we are going to still meet. Some of you I will be consulting for advice. And please don't be bashful. I will need all of you. And I believe that this administration needs your wealth of experience. God bless you. Thank you so much. I'm grateful. Thank you very much. Mr. President, I am satisfied in my conscience that despite the emergence of unique challenges during the life of this night Senate, including a global pandemic, we have nonetheless played our role creditably as partners in progress. 
with the executive and judicial arms of government. Working calmly with patriotic zeal and sincerity of purpose as statesmen and women, we proactively returned our national budgeting to January to December budget cycle and defied all odds to enact major groundbreaking legislations, including, Mr. President, the deep offshore and inland basin production sharing contract amendment 2019 to give legal effect to fiscal incentives received by companies operating in Nigeria's deep offshore and inland basin under the production sharing contracts with the federal government. And the real problem that we are going to face is the question of reiteration, the turnover. Many of our people are not coming back because 25% only will come back to the Senate. And this means quite a lot has to be done by NILS to train our people so as to make sure that we have or we do reinvent legislature for effective national development. So what I can say here is that the Ninth Senate has been blessed with a lot of things, not only the number of bills that we have passed, which are 217 in nature. 